Welcome to IAE. Welcome to IAE. 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 At New Babbage on Microtech for all you new players and also for all you new players. That over there in the distance is where you park your ship. It's not an obvious location, but you can see that it's connected to the main city by a railway. And if you just follow that railway out, it goes to that space station looking thing. But I, I'm going to be a cool kid and I'm going to park at the secret surface entrance and not have to use the railway because I want to get to IE super fast. If you want to get to the surface entrance, you come from the spaceport and follow the offshoot of the railway that curves like this. Oh look, there's a guy right there where it is. Nice, he's giving us a marker. And it's at these little bubble, bubble uh, structures. So you just park next to him. Go in the door. See this little garage here? That's where it is. We don't want to take up the... Uh, all the space though. Because people have to use that hangar to get their vehicles out. So we're going to park next to this guy off to the side here and be polite. Gentlemen's star citizens. Alright, use that. Let's go to IE, man. I'm so excited. The game is not running great right now. Mostly because... Um, that's not a great parking job, but whatever. Uh, mostly because of... The brand new patch. Oh, look at this guy. He's trying to fit a little rover in his brand new cutter. Oh, that doesn't look good. I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. Why did he park to this side? Interesting. Yeah, the game is running very slowly because, uh, yeah, first day of IAE, free fly. Lots of people playing the game. Oh, I'm in. Thank. Oh! Oh, the lag. That desync. We go. All right, we can do this. It's Drake Day today, and because it is Drake Day, the expo will be filled with Drake things. See if we can get aboard a Corsair and check it out. Oh, nice! Convenient little signs telling you where to go. That's so helpful. Like we got to go into the transit system. And Nice, dude. This is so nice that they've done this. So glad that they've done this. Oh, this guy's got a cool helmet. And a bunch of grenades. And a cool pistol. Couple guns. He's got the suppressors on there. This guy's kitted, dude. No kidded. What ya? He's flipping me off. What a jerk. I was just checking out your hit, man. Got a little gang of thugs. IE. They're at IE. Oh, we gotta buy a. We gotta buy a shirt for sure, dude. Well, this is awkward because I don't have pants right now. Okay, chill, dude. Chill. Look at this guy. Oh, this guy. He's doing. Go to the Apex Hall. Well, let's play some Apex. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, oh, you know, he's in. Yeah, today's Drake, tomorrow's Aegis, and we'll. That guy's gone. The desync is real right now, ladies and gentlemen. The desync is so bad. Dude, get off me, dude. Oh, okay. Starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> nice. It's like Nick Merckx's streaming room in here. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, they've got three different Corsair uh, trims. 
and a caterpillar. So we're definitely going to rent one of these and fly that around. Okay, this is Great Corsair. Is this one... Are they really all the same? I think they might all be the same ship. How does one rent this thing? It might not be letting you rent stuff straight off the floor at this point. Wow, there's, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of ramp access uh, UI components today. Ooh. Nice. Are the lights on or off? I can't tell. Very analog. Oh, there we go. Now the lights are on. <laughs> I, I'm a guy who enjoys an analog experience. So I do... I do enjoy... This type of thing. I'm not sure... Then I'm completely in love with the shoddy workmanship, because that's what that is. <laughs> like, there is a difference to me between a piece of crap and, fe and, a, and a thing feeling nice and lived in and useful, you know? Like, the, like, this is cool. The practicality of the netting versus a compartment, I like that. But the exposed wiring, like, that's just a bad job. You know, so I, I can't get on board with that. Lights? What is this? Oh, it's, it's the elevator. <clears throat> I just can't get on. Okay, that's really loud. Let's go to the roof. I can't get on board with the like exposed insulation and stuff. Like that's just, <laughs> it's just bad. You know, it's, it's doing a bad job, but you know, it, it does have a like from a consumer standpoint that's bad but from a, a feel standpoint like if you want to feel like you're an alien you know you want to feel like you're Sigourney Weaver just strutting through the galaxy then then that yeah I get that that's cool I can see that being something you'd want it's cool so you can you can take the elevator up and R2D2 around the hole and repair stuff I guess is the thought behind uh doing this surface oh that's so that's the bottom mess hall I want to go to the uh, I want to go to the bridge I go to the bridge turret gunner seats nice and I've seen this before, this little MFD that's lying here on the floor for no reason. <laughs> Again, <laughs> you know, if I'm buying a ship in a real galaxy, that is not acceptable. <laughs> but because they don't have the ability yet to give us the feeling of... Um, you know, doing our own repairs and owning our own ships, then... I get it. There's no other way we're gonna be able to get that used feel without them doing it from the time of... purchase. The MFTs are bugged. Why am I scanning? Like, excuse me? If I could just took off, <laughs> blew through the outer. Yeah, the MFDs are bugged right now, so that's weird. I've heard there's a lot of bugs going on. It is a very, looking at it from this angle, it is really nice. It's nice to look at from the back like this. Every other angle though, I feel as though it is horrible. I don't, uh, you know. The asymmetrical wings, you know, I could take it or leave it. I don't really care. I'm not really dazzled by the fact that they put a short wing on one side, two short wings, and one long wing on the other side. It's kind of whatever. But the it's it's like they've just been slapped on the body, and the body is kind of just a little a box, a long box. Doesn't it's not uh, 
very cool looking. There's no design happening. You know, it's it's just a box. <laughs> really, it's like a minivan ship. It's ugly. But it's cool because it, the interior is really nice and it's got a buttload of firepower, so... You know, not, not like I hate it or anything, it's just looks bad from the outside. Kind of like the Carrick. Carrick looks like trash from the outside, but the interior is really cool. I mean, do you, but don't all Drake ships just look horrible? Except for the Caterpillar. The Buccaneer looks kind of cool. I'll give it that. And the Caterpillar is cool, but the, uh, you know, the Cutlass, <clears throat> that's terrible. The, uh, the Cutter, the new Cutter, it's just a little blimp. <laughs> like, <laughs> it reminds me of those creatures from Star Wars. Attack of the Clones when Anakin and Padme are, like, wrestling around the meadow. You know, same with the Herald. I guess they thought a lot of people are going to want to be checking these things out, so put three of them so that... Someone can't just hog the pilot seat. Listen, I... Uh, I never got on board Corsair Hype Train. I'm not bashing the Corsair Hype Train whatsoever. Um... I was just hoping for a little more. Okay, so there's another room that way. Let's check downstairs. What are these dragonflies? Is that what they're called? Yeah. Oh, that's the mining ship. Or the mining rover. Yup. 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 In here. Oh. Oh, is this the carrier thing? Kraken. Now that's a cool freaking ship, dude. The spacecraft carrier? Or wait, no, no, no. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what that is. Bro, that's insane. I actually saw someone... Kraken has been released and there's no putting it back. That's funny. I saw someone in the chat saying he has one of these, but there's no way you can rent it, right? Yeah, he's... Anything even in here? Oh, here's the cutlasses. Nice. Dude, this is a Drake ship I would consider buying. I mean, the co don't get me wrong, the Corsair seems pretty cool and useful. What I want to look at is the red. This is a cool ship. I'm gonna rent me a red. Oh yeah, very small cargo bay now for the for the Cuddy Red. Because you gotta make space for the med beds. I if I was to make a critique, I would say that it looks like they just slapped two med beds in the middle of a cargo bay and put up a wall to separate it. And that's kind of like it's very useful. But this, I feel like this should look more like a medical room, you know? I don't know. That's just what I, what I feel at the moment. I don't feel like it's a different ship. I feel like it's just I'm kind of slapped in there. Look at this thing, dude. Imagine if I could throw this on my shoulder and just carry it around blasting. Everyone's trying to, oh, nice. See if I can get this thing. There are going to be so many Corsairs flying around today. All right, I day one complete. Tomorrow I think is Anvil or something else. Oh, tomorrow is Aegis. So we could rent a Hammerhead maybe. Parkour. Look at that beautiful parking job right into the side of that snow drift. All right, that was AIE. No wait, that was I. Yeah, day one, Drake day. I hope you enjoyed seeing that expo as much as I did. There'll be a lot more IAE content to come every day. Look forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. Also, if you're new to the game, welcome. Make sure you're using a referral code when you get into the game because it gives you an extra five grand AUEC, which you desperately can use as a new player with no money. So mine is in the description. Feel free to use it. I don't care if you use mine, but use someone's, you know? You need that leg up as you're starting out. And above all, the most important thing when playing this game to remember is that you must have fun at all costs. All right, GG's guys. I'll be back later today and tomorrow and the next day with, with some more content. 
I'll see you then. 